What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing a Gemini Jets Airport update of Denver International Airport. As you did see in the previous episode or if you haven't seen it please go check it out. I did show the process of me building Denver International Airport. And today we're going to be doing a airport update on Concourse A. Strictly Concourse A because that is the only terminal I have that is fully set out and ready for a update. And I did figure you guys wanted to see something with Denver, so let's get straight into it. Starting us off at the Frontier gates, we have this Frontier Airbus A319. This will be doing a departure flight out to Durango. Recently, Frontier did announce flights out to Grand Junction as well as Durango, so this will be heading out to Durango. As you can see, it is fueling up. Moving right along over to another Frontier aircraft, we have a Frontier Airbus A321. This is in the Steve the Eagle livery and we're we'll doing a departure flight out to San Francisco. As you can see, it is loading on the passengers as well as getting catering done to the aircraft. Moving right along to another Frontier aircraft, we have the Frontier Airbus A321. This is in the Bob the Bobcat livery, I think is what it is. And this will be doing a departure flight out to Kansas City. Following that, we have this American Airbus A321. It's just arrived in from Phoenix about an hour ago and will be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth. Just fueling up here, we do have the American 737-800. This is in the Air Cal Retro livery and we're we'll doing a flight out to Charlotte and it arrived in from Chicago O'Hare about an hour ago. Next up, we have another Frontier Airbus A321. I believe this is in the Auto the Owl livery. I could be wrong. I'm not super great at the tails. But um, here we have this Frontier A321, which will be heading out to Newark in about 30 minutes. Next up, we have a Frontier Airbus A320 Neo, loading on passengers as well as crew before it heads out to San Diego in about 40 minutes. Next up, we have another Frontier Airbus A320 Neo. I actually do know this one. This is in the Colorado, the Bighorn Sheep livery. This is loading on passengers before it heads out to a flight to Branson, Missouri. This is actually a flight I will be taking, so I wanted to send this aircraft out there. Moving right along to the other side of the terminal, um, we do have this Frontier Airbus A320 Neo. This is in the Champ, the Bronco livery. And we'll be doing a departure flight out to Little Rock. Next up, we do have this Frontier Airbus A320 Neo. Seems to be very popular here at Denver. And it is almost as popular as the A320, since the A319 is no more. But this just pulled into the gate from a flight in from Des Moines. Next up, we have this Frontier Airbus A320. This is in the Griswold the Bear livery. And is loading on passengers as well as getting catering done before it heads out to Norfolk. Moving right along over to Delta Airlines, we have this Delta 737-800, which will be heading out to Seattle, Tacoma. And right after that, we do have the Delta 737-900ER, just pulling into the gate from a flight in from Minneapolis, St. Paul. Before I move along, I did want to show the patio that I got customly designed. That will go at the end of the terminal. As you see, I really do like the detail on this with the layover kind of over where the um, passengers would sit around um, on the deck. I do love all the detail on this patio and I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Moving over to the back side of the terminal, we have this Delta Airbus A321 which just arrived in from Minneapolis, St. Paul, and will be heading out to New York, JFK. Moving further along, we do have this Delta 
Airbus A220-100. Um, this is typically operated on the Salt Lake City route, so we'll send this aircraft out to Salt Lake City. Moving right along to the internationals, we do have this Lufthansa Airbus A350-900 loading on passengers as well as catering and fuel to the aircraft before it heads out to Munich. Following that we do have this Air France 787-9 Dreamliner which is a new service to Denver and it will be heading out to Paris Charles de Gaulle. I am so happy to say that Air France is flying here and pretty much took the place of Norwegian but um, I am happy Air France is here. And then next to the Air France, we do have this JetBlue Airbus A320 with Sharklets doing a departure flight out to New York JFK. Next up, we have this United 787-9 Dreamliner. This is in the new livery and by NG Models. NG Models did a fantastic job on this model. This aircraft will be heading out to Tokyo Narita in about 40 minutes. It is currently loading on the passengers and crew. Following that, we have this Copa Airlines 737-800. This is in the MLB livery and is getting service for a flight out to Panama City. Moving right along, we have this Aeromexico 737-800. This will be doing a departure flight out to Mexico City and it arrived in from there. Next up we do have this American 737 MAX 8. We did get this before COVID even started, but this flight would always head out to Miami and then come back to Denver. And recently American did resume that route um, and I'm very happy to see the MAX 8 for American back at Denver. So as I did say, this will be heading out to Miami. Next up, we have the American 737-800. This is in the gorgeous chrome livery, which is now a retro livery, unfortunately. Um, but this is still flying today and it looks absolutely beautiful. This will be heading out to Philadelphia. United does have a small regional gate section off of the end of Concourse A. Unfortunately, I do not have the terminal piece for that yet, but I will get that as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, let's dive straight into these regionals. Starting us off, we have this United Express Embraer E175 doing a flight out to a Grand Junction. Following that, we have this United Express CRJ200. This is in the old livery and will be heading out to Moab, Utah. And then after that, we do have the United Express CRJ550. This will be operating as a CRJ700 because it is the exact same um, body of the aircraft. And also United does have a few CRJ700s in the new livery. And this will be heading out to Aspen, Colorado. And right after that, we do have the United Express CRJ200 in the new livery, which will be heading out to Sioux City, Iowa. That does conclude today's Gemini Jets Airport update of Denver International Airport Concourse A. I am super thrilled to be receiving Concourse B and C soon, and Denver will just be humongous. I, the airport updates will probably honestly be about 30 to 40 minutes, because there is over like 200 gates, I believe, once I have it all finished and sorted out which is going to be very exciting. So I hope you guys did enjoy this airport update, even though it was quite short and only one terminal. I guess it's kind of like a little preview of what all of Denver will look like. And if you want to see an airport update strictly for Concourse B or strictly for Concourse C, please let me know in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, please consider leaving a like on the video and maybe subscribing to the channel. So thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day slash night wherever you are from and goodbye.